Well, in 1995, we have have developed a new constitution, and uh, that constitution included uh, very progressive uh, provisions, uh, inspired mostly by the Convention on the Elimination of Discrimination Against uh, Women. Uh, Once we um, had uh, that Bill of Rights in the constitution, then uh, um, the civil society organizations such as the Ethiopia Women Lawyers Association started to audit other subordinate laws and identify discriminatory features within the subordinate laws. And uh, we started to mobilize public opinion around those discriminatory laws and uh, we prepared a proposal and uh, submit those proposals uh, to the government to amend uh, discriminatory laws. And uh, I need to give credit to the government here because they were quite responsive. They were quite receptive in terms of uh, taking those proposals into account and uh, to to amend the laws. Uh, different countries, there are different experiences. In, in some cases, women's organizations and civil society groups have been lobbying for amendment of um, discriminatory laws for a number of years, but maybe the government is not responsive or uh, or there are other uh, local situations that do not allow uh, that kind of response.